Okay, Mr. Three Wheeled Bikes here, and I have some new stuff. I went to my, uh, I guess it would be my great uncle. Yeah, great uncle's house. I go see him uh, every year, and he had some old radio stuff for me. So, um, this he didn't give me, but I'll talk about this first. This, <laughs> he didn't give me this, my grandmother did, but it is a meat grinder. Pretty old, you know, interchangeable blades. What you do is you screw this off. And this was my great grandmother's, I believe. No. Her grandmother is my great great grandmother. No. Yeah, great great. So, anyway, interchangeable blades. That's really fine. Super fine. And then that's just hamburger meat. But you store it like this. And anyway, after choosing the blade you would like, you screw it down. Oh, that hurt. Okay, you screw it down. This is mounted on a table, has like a little vice system, see? Like that. And then you simply twist it, and it all turns. Anyway, that's my meat grinder. Set it over here. All right, I got this. Now this is um, this is what I got from Uncle Peter. Here is it's an eight-track tape player. I don't know if it works. It has it's a um, sand thrust eight. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's supposed to be a button there. That's not. I have little red lights and one, two, three, four. Volume balance tone. And it goes in a car, obviously. Um, this is a plug. I'm assuming everything in and out, you know, just a little plug. And the back is exposed, so I doubt it works. But if it does, it would go good in the Nova. So, let me set that over there. Okay. Next thing is this. This is probably the coolest. It's a Heather or Heat Heath Kit Heater. And anyway, it tests vacuum or um TV tubes. See so you have your red gun, blue gun, green gun. This is the normal and short, that's for the size of the tube, the intensity of the color you can adjust this adjusted and checks it so this would be just be power on and then you would intensify it or you know make it weaker this is the horizontal position vertical position um, so this also adjusts it so you have the tube plugged up into what was there and you would turn it on intensify the color and the brightness till you got it where you liked then you would yeah, keep it there, and then you would adjust the horizontal position in this. And this might be, this is the screen that shows you what it does. And then that, um, it's a vector monitor model 10-1128. And here's what's on the back. It has grid and cathode. Yeah, so, and the cord still looks good. It's just cut off to the actual cord, you know, going to the tube. It has extremely high voltage, so I was warned. Okay, last thing is I have a very old Walmart bag. Yeah, see, look, Walmart. I've not seen one like this. I might keep the bag. Walmart shop and, and compare them and it's a little blah 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 about sales. I don't know how old this bag is. It's pretty old. Alright, and it's full of vacuum tubes. All of these just have some old vacuum tubes in them. Uh, some of them great condition. Some of them even have instruction manuals. Can't get that one out. Hold it. All right, yeah. Like here's an RCA. Just 
giving you an example of ones in the box. You know. Some of these might be good because you didn't use all of them. And anyway, and I'll just kind of sift through this. Um, this I want to show you in a second. That's cool. It's not a two. There's another Sullivan. Sullivan. RCA. Came with a free speaker. I'll probably go in my four wheeler. Uh, this tube is pretty unique. He has it all wrapped up and it is a shielded tube and it's the cleanest I've ever seen one. It looks incredibly new. So I keep it wrapped up like he had it. Um, I have everything from these, the little, you know, light 60s and 70s tubes to the shielded tubes to the 30s and 40s and even 50s, I guess, tubes. And then here's the really old, you know, some of the late 30s to 20s and even earlier. Um, I also have a, this tube is, hold it, ah, they're rolling. This tube is not supposed to be in here. It's a, just a shield for some odd radio. I've never gotten a shield before, so. Um, let me see here. Ah, uh, we got another Sullivan. Another Sullivan. Um, here's a tube. Oh, and he tr taught me a trick. Um, if you have a tube, and he claims it works real well, if you have a tube that the numbers are barely visible, like that, and you won't be able to tell anyway with your camera, like right there, don't wipe it off. What you do is you rub it in your hair, and the little bit of grease and stuff you have in your hair brings out the numbers, so I'm going to try that right now. He swears it works. He learned it from an electrical engineer at the paper mill. Eh. Yeah, it's a little more visible. I don't know. He's, but, um, yeah, actually, I don't know if it improves it or not, but he said that an engineer taught him that at the paper mill, and he used it all the time. He might a little bit. Anyway, I got probably, I don't know, here's a variable resistor. Um, probably at least a hundred tubes here. Most of them are these little ones, but I have some oddballs in there. Like I have, um, some really, like I like these, but I have some really short ones. That's not a short one. I don't know. Hmm. I haven't looked at any of the numbers yet, but I'm sure there's going to be some good ones in here. Anyway, I have some really long ones like this. And then really short ones that I can't find all of a sudden. Anyway, but let me, I have two minutes left. Let me show you what's in this. This is a Miller Quality Products. I open it from the bottom. One second, please. Here we go. Original box. It's radio coils. And look what is in here. An IF, I believe, coil. Anyway, but look what else is in here that makes it even cooler. You have a instruction manual. Oh, yeah. 